This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hello, I'm Megan Donahue. With me today is Chris Bondrow from the law offices of Chris Bondrow. Chris, welcome back. Glad to be here, Megan. Questions keep coming in, so All I'll right, go right bring to them it. On. Joan in Castlehane asks, I was recently charged with a DWI. I refused the breathalyzer and was wondering what happens next? Well, since you're charged with a DWI, that means that the state is moving forward with those charges and there's a, a number of issues going on in this particular case. Number one, the reason that um, the state wants you to, to do the Alka sensor or the breathalyzer test is it gives them proof and if you blow 0.08 or higher, they have presumptive proof, meaning that's pretty much all they have to prove to, to convict you. Um, without the breathalyzer, the intoxilizer, they have to show through evidence, uh, observations by the police officer, or the roadside test, those kinds of things. And it makes it more difficult for the state to prove the case. Doesn't mean they can't prove it, but it's harder. Now, the other issue, uh, a couple of issues going on are, number one, when you do a refusal in this state, you automatically lose your license for a year, regardless of whether or not you're convicted of the DWI. So you've got that issue going on. And that issue can be addressed with the, um, you can have a hearing before the DMV and try to prove that there wasn't enough evidence to arrest you for a D, uh, DWI. So you've got both uh, a criminal aspect to it, and that is the driving while impaired, mm -hmm. and you've got the civil aspect, and that deals with your driver's license and your ability to drive. Um, so you've got both of those things going on, and you, you definitely need competent counsel to, to help through that. It definitely sounds like someone would need one. Yes. So give your office a call, right? Absolutely. Thanks. For more information, go to chrislegal.com. For more details, go to lawconnect.wect.com.